This is the lightweight men's double skills final. I think we ticked every single box we could in terms of preparing for Tokyo, like for the conditions, for the heat. We just being our fittest, strongest versions of ourselves as well. So it was kind of a case of there's nothing more we could do and whatever the result was going to be was a result of all that hard training and I think I like I really believe that no one trains harder than us. McCarthy and O'Donovan have shown why they were the big favourites. When I think of the club I just it's just like so much nostalgia for me. Even these days it's so nice to come home and and sort of like be in that that space again. It really does feel like like home. Kind of everyone in the primary schools around the club, they do rowing for an hour on a Friday, kind of as PE, I guess, and just went from there, really. I had about a year of rowing done before my brother Jake started. He was always into sport, and I think when he started seeing me getting fitter and stronger, he thought it would be a good supplement to his football training, and then the sibling rivalry took over, I guess, and we were just kind of taking chunks out of each other on the water. First two years post Rio, um, the lightweight four had kind of been gone from from the Olympics at that point as well. So there's literally only two seats for every, you know, lightweight rower in the country, in every country. So it's like super competitive. Paul had started medicine that year, so he wasn't available for the European champs. So me and Jake got to go to the Europeans in the double and we made the final, which was crazy. Like we didn't expect it at all. And we knew we were going well and we did have good training behind us, but it was just, I think that was, that kind of kicked off our sort of belief, I guess, that we actually might be able to do well. And then obviously the rest of the season panned down there were trials and stuff. And I ended up making the boat with Paul that year and qualifying the boat for the Olympics and winning the World Championships. There's always some nerves that you'd be, you know, you'd be doing well to be not nervous before an Olympic final. But it, you know, when you get on the water and start warming up, it, it, it goes to the back of your mind pretty quickly. And then it just becomes kind of like another race then and the gravity of it, I guess, doesn't really hit you until, until after. I did have a thought of, just had a moment of like, wow, it's four o'clock at home and everyone's, awake just just watching me roll. <laughs> Had the classic steady start. We were probably in third to the 500 and then came through the Italians by the halfway but the Germans stuck with us. They, they did give it a bit more in sort of the third 500 coming into the last 500 than I would have expected. I think they passed us out again a bit. When I watch it sometimes after I'm, I'm a bit shocked because in in the race it felt it felt controlled like I, I wasn't worried for a second, but the Germans were pretty close to us the whole way. It was just about controlling it, controlling, controlling it, and then just letting loose in the last 250 and just putting everything you can, because there's nothing else to, to save any energy for. Ireland, the first gold medal of Tokyo 2020, you have Fintan McCarthy and Paul O'Donovan. I knew that we were able to do something special, so it was just about putting what we'd practiced into, into the racing. And, and it wasn't until, I guess, October, November, that it really started to, to sink in that, not, not like what we'd done, but just, oh, we gotta do it all again now. <laughs>